Hello there and welcome again to our tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to use capacities. Now, capacities at a glance, you simply go to capacities.io and that link is available in the description of this video. So, what is capacities and what can it do? So, simply, capacities is a tool for personal knowledge management where you can put your thoughts in lasting impressions that is in terms of pictures and uh, media. And this is stored in cloud so that it makes your sharing powerful and even faster. And then it has data structure where you can do a combination of objects. For instance, you can just combine metadata, notes, and all that where you can create all types of data with capacities. So to get to capacities, you simply type capacities.io and it brings you to this page. And then you log in if you have an account, but this being a tutorial for beginners, you will start with registering. You click on register on the top right corner. And then it will bring you to this site where you can register. So you click on that and you add your email address. Then you put your password on this part. Make sure your password is strong enough for safety. Then you click on register and you can also get capacities on desktop if you need it. So that will take you to this next step where you are welcomed and then you simply read the steps as you click on next. So you create your profile, you give your first and last name. So I'll give my name here, Joe Mushero, and then I click on next. And then here, notes don't live in folders, they are connected, so everything is an object, all you do is connected to time. So basically you are getting these ideas as you move on. So you click on next. And then notes don't live in folders. They are connected. You get pillar one. So you have an idea. You have a person and a meeting. All those are connected. And you can use art to mention another person. You can customize all objects to your needs. You can add new properties. Change their layout and add much more. And uh, the third pillar is that all you can do is you can link your work to a calendar that is either today, now, or any other date. Finally, you can select your first objects here. Is it books? Is it people? Is it meetings? So you select the first objects that you want to see here. I want to see that for meetings and then people where you create notes on people you interact with. You can also do books where you learn from books that you read. So you select the ones you want and then you click on next. Then the next step that you need before you continue is to verify your email. So you'll go back to your email and you will notice that down here, I have an email from capacities. So I click on that. And then down here, you notice there's a link. So click on that link so that you can have your capacities verified or you can click on verify your email. So you notice now my email has been verified. Your email is verified. So now you click on let's go. You can also click for preferences where you can get updates or not. So where you get regular updates via email about capacities by simply clicking here. So you now click on let's go. And there you have it. And this is the homepage for capacities. So on the left hand side, you notice we have notes. And then we have new content, we have get started, we have the calendar, and then the objects we selected, you notice some of them appear here, but we can also click on new type to add an object type. So how now do we use this? When you come to the top here, this is where we have the spaces. So you can create different spaces for different content. So if you click on that for notes, you notice for, we have these spaces, we have notes, if you click on that, this is the notes, and you can still add new content. So to add new content, you can press Control U, or you can simply press the plus sign here. So I'll click on that, and then you decide which new content do you want to add. Is it a page? Is it an image, a web link, a tweet, a PDF, an audio, or whatever it is? So I want to add a page, so I'll click on page, and then once you come to the page, if I put the cursor away, you notice above my title, it is blank. 
But if I bring the cursor back at the top, you notice we have this add icon, add description, add cover image and wide layout, which we can adjust that. So you can give this new page a uh, title. I'll call it first demo. That will be the title of my page. I can add an icon to that by simply clicking on add icon. So you notice here we have icons, then I'll use that icon. So that's for the page. And then I can add a cover image and the cover image here, you can either get it from uploads, you can upload it directly. You can add a link and you can also get those images from Unsplash. So I want to upload an image from my PC tips. You can paste a file from the clipboard, but you can also drag and drop. So let me just drag an image here. I'll drag these flowers there. So that's my cover page. That's what I want it to be my cover page. So you notice now that's the image I have used. Then for the layout here, you can either do a normal layout or a wide layout so that it fits what you want to see for different pages. You can also add tags here, uh, tags basically whatever you want to add as your tags so that it also makes it easy for you to locate your work. Maybe this knowledge management, uh, it's maybe motivation. I want to have that as a tag. Motivational. So whichever tags you need, you keep on clicking that and adding the tags. Then you can press plus or stroke to create a link. And then now this is where you can add the content. So I'll type here how to be motivated. And then I can press the plus again here so that I can have another one. So I can do that up to the end. But you notice if now I highlight this content, I can now edit it the normal way we edit content in a Word document just by clicking on bold, italics. So that's how you add the pages. So if you want to add a page within a page, so you notice here we can add books, people, meetings, images, and so on. So if you want to add an image, remember this is our cover page. We can delete it here if we want to delete that image. We, if we come to objects here, new content, what do we want to add? We want to add an image from the computer. We simply click on that and then we search for the image. We can also get images from Unsplash. You notice we have all these images here. If I click on new content here, you notice we can add a tweet, add PDF and embeds. We can also add audio. For instance, if I click on that add audio, we can either add a link for the audio where we paste the URL here, but you can also upload an already recorded file. If you click on select file, it will take you to your PC where you can access the audio that you want to upload. So let me upload an audio here. This audio named TT. It's a WAV audio. So you notice now it's added there. You give it time to load. You notice it's loading. You notice it is loading on the upper right corner. If you now want to pin this audio or this page somewhere, you simply can click on here, pin to space. Or if you come here on the three dots, you can download the file, you can share, you can import, or you can also pin it to space here. And you can also copy object reference where you get that link for the object that you have added. Uh, you get the link for its location in capacities. You can also delete the object completely if you don't want it. Finally, let us look at space settings. If you come to notes on the top left corner, you click on that and then you click on space settings. You notice you can change your name here. For instance, instead of having it as notes, let me call it my space. And then you can select the icon to use here. And then you can give the space ID, it's given here. For your backup, finally, you can see where you can backup your you can see how you can back up your data. Either you can include the media, you can include the links. If you want to include the media, you click on that. If you want to include the links, you click on that. If you want to include titles and headings, you click on that. Then you click on create backup so that you have a backup for that. So basically that is how you use capacities to have your ideas organized in a nice way. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.